The New Forest in Hampshire is one of the few forests in England to have been granted royal status. It was established in 1079 by William the Conqueror, who saw these woods as the perfect hunting grounds for topping up the royal larder. Today, it's one of Britain's newest national parks, and some of its most celebrated residents are these beautiful New Forest ponies. More than 4,000 of them graze freely here, playing an important role in preventing the gorse and bracken from overrunning the park. But every year, as autumn arrives, the wild ponies are in danger. At this time of year, the oak trees are overflowing with these acorns. The problem is that these can be highly toxic. The leaves and acorns of oaks contain tannic acid and especially when still green, they're very poisonous to ponies. But thankfully, there's a solution to this problem. Oliver Cook is a commoner, the name given to people who inherit certain rights on the land here. And he's getting ready to exercise one of them, the panage. Hi, Oliver. Hello, Kate. Working hard, I see. That's it, yep, trying to keep them clean. So, um, pig panage, what's it all about? A panage is the practice of turning pigs out onto the forest to eat the acorns that the ponies don't, basically. Right, because of course they can tolerate the acorns yep, in their guts right, better yep. than the other animals. Yeah, pigs actually fatten on them quite well. So can anybody, if they've got pigs, can they just let them loose in the forest? No, you've got to have um, rights attached to your property or to your land that you own. Um, right. It's a right of mast which entitles you to let pigs out. And these pigs, they're not looking very old, have they spent all their time in a pen? Yep, so um, it's going to be a bit of an adventure for them. Let's round them up and let them loose in the forest. Okay. They're in for a good day. Right then, ladies. Come on then. Get them in the truck. Hey, girls. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Taste the acorns. Once they're loaded up, we take the pigs to a part of the forest where they'll spend the next two months gorging themselves on acorns and beech nuts. Oh, look at them now. They're having a great time, oh, aren't they? they? they having happy. a ball. Now, I've noticed that on some of these now, you've got your nose rings. That's right, yep, and that's one of the requirements. They're put in there just so they can quite happily eat the beech mast, the acorns, anything on the surface, but they can't actually dig up the ground at all. And yeah. the big question, of course, is they're here for a reason. That's is it, it working? It is, yep. There's still a number of ponies that do die every year, which is believed to be through acorn poisoning. So every acorn that a pig eats is one that a pony doesn't eat. So. Right. So, girls, got to, um, get chomping yeah. those acorns. Absolutely, yeah. The panage is a great example of traditional land management. In the 19th century, up to 6,000 pigs were turned out. Today, it's more like two or 300. So, to ensure the ponies remain a key part of the forest's character and ecology, it's more important than ever that people like Oliver keep this age-old custom alive.